Op Art with Victor Vassarelli. One of the most important artists of the op art movement is Victor Vassarelli, and one of his most famous artworks is called Zebra. This playful zebra project is inspired by that famous op art artwork. The lines in Vassarelli's zebras run together and curve to form the illusion of space and form. The shapes that make up the zebras look like they were cut out and pieced back together. When painting on your zebra stripes, notice how zebra stripes are sometimes thick and sometimes thin. Sometimes the stripes curve and run into each other. Try to get your paper completely full of zebra stripes. Set it on the drying rack to let it dry. On the background piece of paper, grab a construction paper piece, a circle, any size that you want, and you can use this again to reinforce this op art image. As I took my circle and placed it onto the paper, I left it in pencil so it's easy to see. As I got started thinking about drawing my lines onto the paper, I felt like maybe colored um, the opposite color, a complementary color, might make the lines show up even better. You'll notice that when we looked at some op art images at the beginning of this slide, op art is kind of tricking your eye. So I use that circle to draw curved lines onto the circle with straight lines going from that curve um, to the edge of the paper. Kind of makes you think of a safari sunset going down. And so it's just kind of like when you touch the edge of the circle, curve that line like a rainbow until you touch the opposite side of the circle. Finish the line horizontally to the edge of your paper and then you've got a really cool background. Now, moving into making a zebra. Once your project, your paint, has dried, fold your paper in half so that you get two large rectangular shapes. This is going to be used to create our zebra's body. Once you cut it in half, take one of the rectangles and draw a diagonal line across. This line will divide this for the body, and the second rectangular triangle is just some extra paper left over. So, now, as you take your piece of paper, cut on that diagonal line, and the tip of the day, glue each piece of your zebra as you cut them so that your pieces stay organized. I'm going to glue this regular large triangle onto my background paper. This is going to give me the neck slash body part of my zebra. Now, going back to my second rectangular shape. I'm going to again start out with a big X, two diagonal lines across, and divide it in shapes that you can see here. It's also drawn on the direction sheet on the board, but again, I'm just going to outline mine so everybody can see those dividing lines. This hopefully will help you as you begin creating sections for ear, head, and nose. Now, once I've got my pieces drawn out, I'm going to cut um, diagonally to make my two pieces for the head. When I glue them on, it's totally okay if some of your pieces hang off the edge of the paper. That's, that's a good choice too. As I set those aside, this will give me a diamond shape. Using the shape that I have for my nose, I'll glue that on top to extend it like a horse's nose. You can either glue down your triangles going off to the side and extending it off the paper, but these make great sections for ears. And lastly, I'm taking some white paper, cutting out some circles that I can glue down to make eyes on for my zebra's body. Remember that last triangular piece that said extra on it? With the extra pieces of paper, I'm going to take those and start gluing those down for the, um, the mane that makes up my zebra. My pieces were pretty large, so I cut them in half and glued them down to the zebra's body. This project was lots of fun, using interesting lines to make my op art zebra. Hope you had fun, everyone. Take care.